Hello everyone, this is absolutely the first run Sunlu S9 Plus 3D printer I pre-generate my own uh, G-code Actually I'm used it on uh, Sunlu T3 3D printer, it's same G-code I think it's going to work on this printer also you can uh, auto level, you can Z compensate, and you can do all things you need. Super nice uh, screen. This uh, printer uh, came with uh, filament dryer. When you buy this printer, you get filament dryer also. Yes, guys. Extra support. Two E axis, the white. It's nice that it's stable, flexible plate. Fill and brake sensor, metal extruder, glue sensor, integrated LED light. We shall see how it prints. Okay, it's uh, auto leveling first. I really like it's like uh, Prusa style. Two Z axis. It's a large printer, huge printer actually. I'm going to add link below so you can check uh, more info or buy this printer directly from uh, Sunlo. It's actually a quiet printer. Fence, it's very quiet. What I can hear now when it's moving Z axis. So I think it's not quite drivers on Z axis. Fence, it's very, very quiet and printer actually. Just Z axis. I added, uh, like I told before, simple G code uh, that I use it on Sunlu T3 3D printer. I actually use it the same G code on many printers, on Anacudic, and so on, and it works. So you no need to add special start code or something. This printer starts. Auto leveling automatically. It's integrated in the printer. It's really nice. Huge printer if you want to print uh, some cool stuff like helmets or something. And very well made. It's stable, real stable. I like this rod. Super easy to assemble. No wiring. Yeah, so something coming. I can step and check actually and try to reprint. Very responsible screen. I like. Yes. See, then I raise down nozzle, came much, much nicer. I level it, but uh, not <laughs> adjusted my uh, nozzle. So I'm going to do now and reprint. You just go to leveling. See, you can rise now uh, 
zeta up or down. I'm going to use a simple paper sheet. Ah, seems like it's okay now. So now I can reprint. I don't want to use auto leveling because I uh, leveled it before. Nice. All these detections you can often on. But I keep them. Really nice when you print something big, big. So now I'm going to reprint. Oh, such a big bet and temperature raising very, very fast actually. It's a uh, 310, 310, 400. It's a huge bet. And it took for me about uh, 60 degrees. It took about three and a half minutes to hit this bet. So it's quite fast, quite fa fast. Yeah, now it works. I really love this film and dryer. You can uh, change temperature or something. This is completely new roll from a local store, Pella. I'm using 60 and 200 nozzles. Maybe no need 60, maybe it's okay, 50, 55. Very good flexible bed actually, it's film and sticks like crazy. I really, really uh, like. It's the same like on Sunlu T3. First layer. I hope you can see the video. Seems really, really nice. Wow, well, now I can print big, big things. 400, that's a lot. 310, 310. That's it, guys. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and happy 3D printing.